What's going on guys, T-Mart here and today I am very excited to be one of the first people on YouTube to bring you guys some early gameplay from the map Splash in Black Ops 3. So uh, this is one of the four new multiplayer maps coming to the game as a part of the Awakening DLC. We're only a couple of days away. It comes out on February 2nd on PlayStation about a month later on Xbox and PC. And uh, let me tell you guys, I'm sure you guys know this was one of the most hyped up maps of the bunch. Like, you know, everybody's been looking forward to this thing. The idea of playing in a water park is just a really cool setting for a Call of Duty map. And obviously, it, like, through all the trailers and everything, it just, it looked super, super fun and vibrant and colorful and stuff like that. And people like those, uh, you know, kind of like new and exciting maps. And uh, let me tell you guys, it lives up to the hype. Like, this thing is really, really cool. Both in the way that it feels to be playing in a water park as well as just the way the, the map is laid out. You know what I mean? Like, it, it really made a lot of sense. It's still kind of like the traditional three-lane style that we have a lot of in Black Ops 3, but there's some really cool flank routes, including through water slides and all kinds of stuff like that. And it's just like, it's got enough unpredictability that you can't really always know where the enemies are coming from, but it's predictable enough to the point to where you aren't, you know, constantly getting shot in the back. And it's like, I think it's a fantastic map. Like I said, not only in the way that it looks, but also in the way that it plays, which is obviously a very important thing. So, in this gameplay here, you guys are going to see, I'm not going to lie, I'm playing a little bit kill Hori. I, I don't know, I, just, I, I kind of got off to a little streak in the start, and my streaks kept feeding each other. So, I was like, you know, I'm not going to, you know, rush in and play the objective super hard and, and really, you know, kind of uh, put myself in danger. I'm just going to keep milking it. And I even tap, like, the A flag a couple times to bait people out and stuff. So, uh, it's a little bit more kill-oriented. But, uh, you know, it's fun nonetheless. So let's talk about this map, all right? Well, the first thing I want to say to you guys, I'm not going to, you know, make you guys all anxious here and wait till the end. Yes, you can play in the water slides. I know that's a question everybody's going to have. And uh, it's very exciting that you can. So obviously when we saw this trailer, we got like a bunch of screenshots and little kind of cinematic uh, panning video pieces and stuff. We saw that some of the slides were open, but we weren't sure if we were going to be able to go through them and what would happen. Like, you know, I, I thought, you know, they could be something where you just kind of like run through it or it could be something where it starts like a, uh, almost like an action sequence where you kind of like slide or something like that. Well, uh, it turns out that uh, they don't do anything in terms of like, you know, sliding and stuff like that. Like it's just like it's another normal part of the map except it's a water slide which is pretty cool um in the very middle of the map as you guys can see right here the big pink slide or like purplish slide this is like one of the most populated areas on the map like if your team doesn't have control of this the enemy team does without a doubt it's 100 percent guaranteed and then it kind of overlooks this other little yellow slide which connects one of the like you know more towards the spawn areas towards the middle part of the map and uh, it's just like literally the entire time we played people were in the slide. So that's one of my biggest tips I can give you guys about this map, especially when this thing first launches. Just be careful around the slides. Always be looking in the slides. You're gonna get yourself some free kills, especially when you come up behind enemies and stuff like that. Like people just like to hang out in the slides. And I know why, because I was kind of drawn to it as well when I first started playing. So uh, just be careful of that. This middle area is super, super hectic. There's like one like little blown out wall and like this castle tower thing that a lot of people sit up in and shoot across into the pink slide and then people shoot across in the yellow slide and all kinds of stuff so uh, the middle is very very chaotic typically I would say try to stay away from it if you can but uh, you know obviously it's up to you and how your play style uh, fits with the map now uh, on the other you know kind of like two sides of the map one side is pretty commonly populated from what I saw and then the other side isn't really populated all that much from what I saw so this area right here, kind of like the, the beach that leads into like the big lagoon wave pool type thing. I'm not sure what's out there. You can't go out there, by the way. That's like the edge of the map. It'll uh, do the countdown timer and kill you if you stay out there too long. But uh, this, although we were playing Domination, I think that has something to do with it. This was the side that was much more trafficked. Like there were a lot of enemies coming through here and trying to cap the flag and stuff like that. Even TDM, this was the side that was more trafficked. And then on the other side... There's, um, you know, it's like this lazy river type thing. And uh, this side really isn't used all that much. It's something that I was able to flank around the enemies constantly without running into, you know, too much resistance. So that might be something you guys want to check out. I don't know if our, you know, party was just a little bit weird. Obviously, I was playing a bunch of people who were really good at the game. So maybe just like 
we didn't feel the need to go over there. We were all trying to, you know, go towards the middle of the map and get in gunfights with each other. But it just, it kind of seemed like nobody was really coming over to this side of the map. So it seemed like it was a pretty good flank route if you guys wanted to try it. And uh, then also one other little tip is back here I found a pretty good spot. You guys can see you jump up on these like stacked up tubes and you have a nice little line of sight right underneath the pirate ship, which is pretty cool. And uh, speaking of that pirate ship, that's another uh, major, you know, kind of part of the map that's more towards the middle. It kind of leads towards that middle area with all the slides, but it's not quite there. And that's something that you definitely want to have control of uh, when you're playing this map. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this map. Feel free to leave them down below. I'd be happy to, you know, help you guys out and, uh, you know, let you guys know what's going on. But it's a good map. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, like I said, it just it makes a lot of sense. It's predictable in a sense, but it's also, you know, gives you the ability to be a little bit unpredictable. The domination flags are in a triangle setup, which is nice. And uh, I don't know, it's just like it, it was a really good map that I really, really enjoyed. And it's something that I was worried that like, obviously this thing's going to look good and it's going to be really cool to play in a water park, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be, you know, a map that played really well. But uh, they did a fantastic job with it. And uh, I give it an A+, plus, man. Like, I, I really, really like it. I might even like it more than Skyjacked. So uh, that's that's saying something. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Tomorrow, we are going to be checking out Skyjacked. Make sure you guys come back. I have an epic gun game that I want to show you guys as well as some super, super, super huge tips for you guys that are really going to help you out when you first play on that map. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Check out these two screens. Have you seen yet? Peace out, guys.